The Europa League starts on Thursday for Man United with a home game against FC Astana. Now, nobody wants to be in the Europa League, not in comparison to the glitz and the glamour and the glory of the Champions League. But there is one thing I am dead excited about to see in the Europa League this year, and that is the kids. Because there are a set of players coming through United's academy that if Solskjaer gives him the first team football, which he should do in the Europa League, they could hopefully use that platform like Marcus Rashford did against Midtjylland and explode into the first team. Now, what I want to do in this video is run through these players I think are right on the edge that we should see in the Europa League and why you should be excited about seeing them. And I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about already. Now, before we do begin, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button and get involved. But let's get into this one. Just quickly before we do take a look, you do know that we have partnered with The Athletic. I'm very excited about this partnership. And there's an excellent article on there that's gone up this week by Laurie Whitwell on the Leicester game and pays particular attention to Scott McTominay's wonderful performance in midfield. I'd encourage you to go over there and read it. Now, The Athletic do have a world-class team of writers on United, Laurie Whitwell, Andy Mitten, the editor of United We Stand, the long-standing United fanzine. There's just a host of great United content on there. No ads, no pop-ups, just great content. So all you need to do is follow the link in the description. And with that unique link from United People's TV, you get a 30-day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. I genuinely would encourage you to go over there. Hopefully, we're going to be having some more exclusive interviews from athletic writers on the United People's TV channel very, very soon. But in the meantime, follow that link and subscribe. You won't regret it. So the Europa League, as I say, kicks off on Thursday. And what kids do I want to see Solskjaer playing? The first name that I think is going to be on everybody's list is Mason Greenwood. Now, the 17-year-old was part of the pre-season tour. He was exciting on the pre-season tour, especially that goal. I think it was against it was it Inter Milan. Turned inside and banged it into the corner. Now, he made a cameo appearances so far this season, but I want to see Greenwood start a game. I think out of everybody in this squad... Greenwood seems to have the most direct threat from the right wing. Dan James has been doing great bits, but over on the left, we haven't got any threat on the right. And I want to see Greenwood get that opportunity. We might see Greenwood play up front and Rashford rested for the Europa League games. Maybe that will happen. But Greenwood deserves his opportunity to start. And I think out of all of them, he's the one most ready to make it into the first team. Can play on the left foot, the right foot can play up front, can play on the wing, can dribble, can run past a player, go in behind. He's sort of an all-round striker with no real clear weaknesses. And for those that watch the academy, his sort of growth through the academy is held much higher than Rashford's. So I can't wait to see what Greenwood can do in the first team. And he's got to be starting, surely, in these Europa League games. I think so, anyway. And there is one player I know all of you will want to see start in the Europa League games. And that's Angel Gomez, the 19-year-old, again on the pre-season tour, a very exciting young player. And I think with Angel Gomez, United are at a crossroads this year. He's, conf he's so confident in his own ability that I don't think he'll sit on the bench of the first team for another season, be happy about it and just continue into next year. I think if we don't give Gomez the opportunities this year, he could force a way out of United. I don't want to see that happen. And United are so lacking in the number 10 role that it's even more of a reason to play Angel Gomez. He plays in that role very, very well. Very creative, diminutive player. Always looks up, always looking for the pass. Now, physically, he's small. But so was Paul Scholes and it didn't stop him coming into the first team. He's never going to have that physical side to his game. But diminutive, small playmakers don't. Lionel Messi doesn't. I'm not saying that Gomez is the new Messi, because he isn't. Gomez is the first Gomez. But I want to see him start in that number 10 role. Maybe with a powerful midfield behind him just to protect him, just to let him do what he wants to do in the number 10 role. But him and Greenwood, that could be a very exciting twosome to see in the Europa League. And just as much as I want to see Greenwood, I want to see Gomez too. Somebody who absolutely will be starting in the Europa League is Axel Tuanzebe. Now, Solskjaer showed real faith in him by selling Chris Smalling to Roma, or loaning him, which is effectively selling. He's not going to come back. He's made Tuanzebe his third choice centre-back, ahead of Jones and ahead of Rojo in the pecking order. So he will be starting these games. And Lindelof and Maguire were both excellent against Leicester. We kept our second clean sheet in three games. 
at Old Trafford this season in the Premier League, which is as many as we kept in 19 last year. So the defence is improving, but Twan Zebe can't go from winning promotion with Villa in the Championship to just sitting on the bench and watching Maguire and Lindelof play. He's ready for first-team football. And just like Gomez, if we do that to Twan Zebe this season and don't play him, he's going to angle for a move away. And you can't blame him if he does that. But the Europa League and the League Cup should be where Twan Zebe gets the opportunity to impress. And if he does and he plays so good, then Solskjaer really has to question whether he can come in and play alongside Maguire in the first team. He looks ready. He was a leader for the under-18s at United. He was a leader alongside Tyrone Mings at Villa. And at a club which has such little options in terms of centre-back, Twan Zebe has to get these minutes under his belt. So I can't wait to see what he does. Now, somebody who I feel personally is, is a little bit less polished is Tahith Chong. The 19-year-old came off the bench, though, against Leicester, and his tenacity sort of changed the dynamic of a game where Leicester was starting to get back into it. He was pressing high. Those two subs that Solskjaer made, Fred and Chong coming on, allowed United to re-implement the high press because they were fresh. And Chong, as I said, I think he's more unpolished, but he's an excellent, really traditional winger. And we don't have many of that. Dan James has brought that back to the club this year, but Chong can do it as well. He's breaking through into the Netherlands, I think under 19s team as well, or under 21s. I wouldn't say he's ready for first team football, not in comparison to the others that I've mentioned so far. But I think Chong can use this Europa League as an exciting platform to sort of properly burst into the team. But seeing as he's part of the first team squad and he was brought off the bench for a good 25, 30 minutes against Leicester, maybe Solskjaer already considers him part of that first team situation. And if he can use the Europa League properly, maybe he can burst into the starting 11 in the Premier League as well. But I'm not as, ex no offence to Chong, but I I'm more excited to see what Greenwood and Gomez do because I think those positions are bigger weaknesses for United. But it doesn't mean I'm not excited to see what Chong can do if he gets given the opportunity. And he should be as well. And if we're looking at weaknesses in this United squad, central midfield strikes me as the biggest weakness we now have. And that's why James Garner, the 18-year-old who's shone so well on pre-season, should be getting that chance. He's continued that great pre-season form with the under-23s. And in a squad, as I said, where Fred, our 50 million signing, only makes his first appearance since April against Leicester, Matic, Woeful, Fellaini gone, Herrera gone, Popper injured, Matomane, the only real standout midfielder we have, Solskjaer needs to look, maybe internally, for some options to boost his squad, and James Garner is the clear option. Now, he's hailed as a sort of Carrick-type player, not to say he's going to grow through and become as great as Carrick was, but that's the style of player that he is. And United needs somebody that's got a bit of composure on the ball, because alongside Matomane, we need somebody if Pogba's not going to be there and Pogba's injured. Or maybe we need Pogba and Matomane with somebody behind. Now, I don't think that's going to be Garner and Matomane together. But in the Europa League, it can be where he expresses himself. He gets used to first-team football because that, it's a big jump from the academy team to the first team. It's an even bigger jump from the academy team to Premier League football. And these Europa League games and League Cup games are a great stepping stone for these players. So James Garner needs that opportunity. The 18-year-old, as I said, really impressed on pre-season. And I don't think you can just go from that to just pushing him to the under-23s and forgetting about him. We don't have enough options in central midfield to do that. So I want to see him as well in some point in the Europa League this season. So taking all of that into account, what sort of 11 could we see in the Europa League this season? As you can see on the screen there, I've got a potential 11. Romero, I think he'll play the Europa League like he always does. Young and Rojo, we don't really have fullback options. You could go maybe Brandon Williams, but his name's not really been mentioned so far. In midfield, you can use Matic and Fred, but it's all about that front four. And I think a front four there of Chong, of Gomez, of Greenwood, and maybe Rashford in or out, or maybe Greenwood up front and someone else on the wing like James. There's the ability I think Solskjaer has in the Europa League to blend experience in defence with youngsters up front. Because I don't think we've got enough quality coming through the ranks in defence to just put a full team of academy players out. And I don't, think you ever w I don't think you ever should, really. Because it benefits the academy players when two or three or four come into an eleven that's also got experience around it. 
If you just put a full academy team out, it's just gonna be like them playing for the under 23s and they won't really learn anything. So that's where that blend's got to come from. I think putting Twan Zebe in there, alongside maybe Maguire or Lindelof, as I said, we don't have many centre back options. But it's that front four that I want to see this season. It's those front four positions that I want to see Gomez get his chances, Chong and Greenwood most of all. But the Europa League, we all know, is a terrible competition in comparison to the Champions League. But United are in it this year. We didn't finish in the top four. We didn't win the Champions League. So we've got to get on with it. And if we win the Europa League, we'll get a spot in the Champions League next year. So Solskjaer won't be taking this competition lightly. So that's why I think that blend of experience and youth will be there. But I think the, the youth should be up front. That's where I really want to see it. Now, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. As always, who are you most excited about seeing in the Europa League? Do you hate the competition completely? Or does the excitement of seeing our academy players, the rising stars of United coming through, does that give you a reason to watch the competition? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now, just before we finish, as I said at the start of the video, we are partnered with The Athletic. Make sure you follow the link in the description. You can get a 30-day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription. Andy Mitten, Laurie Whitwell, lots of great United content on there by a top team of writers. So make sure you follow that link, get involved. Until next time though, take it easy.